501421 and 501423. General description of gland. The 501421 comprises three major components, these being the back nut, compression spigot and entry component incorporating seal. This cable gland is suitable for use with non-armoured elastomer and plastic insulated cables and provides one seal on the cable outer sheath. The 501423 comprises five major components, these being the back nut, back compression spigot, middle nut incorporating seal, front compression spigot and entry component incorporating seal. This cable gland is suitable for use on non-armoured elastomer and plastic insulated cables and provides two independent sealing points on the cable outer sheath. The cable glands may also be used in increased safety applications on braided cable where the full cable is passed through the cable gland for termination inside the enclosure. Assembly instructions are supplied with each cable gland. Please refer to these for further instructions on cable preparation and installation. Cable preparation. Strip back and remove the required amount of outer sheath to expose the conductors. Allow sufficient length of cable to enable termination of the conductors into the junction box. Cable gland installation. 501421. Fit the ingress protection or IP washer if required onto the entry thread and fit the complete cable gland into the junction box hand tight using the enclosure thread or lock nut. Using a spanner or wrench, tighten the entry component until resistance is felt a quarter to a half turn nominal. Push the cable through the cable gland into the equipment making sure that the inner seal is positioned over the cable sheath and not the conductors. Using a spanner or wrench, tighten the back nut onto the entry component until resistance is felt between the seal and the cable. Turn the back nut through a further half turn to fully compress the inner seal. The 501421 cable gland has now been correctly installed. 501423 Fit the ingress protection or IP washer if required onto the entry thread and fit the complete cable gland into the junction box hand tight using the enclosure thread or lock nut. Using a spanner or wrench tighten the entry component until resistance is felt a quarter to a half turn nominal. Push the cable through the cable gland into the equipment making sure that the inner seal is positioned over the cable sheath and not the conductors. Using a spanner or wrench, tighten the middle nut onto the entry component until resistance is felt between the seal and the cable. Tighten a further half turn. Holding the middle nut with another spanner or wrench, tighten the back nut until resistance is felt between the back seal and the cable. Finalize by tightening a further half turn with a spanner or wrench. The 501423 cable gland has now been correctly installed.